Welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of Metroid Zero Mission. Last time we started the game. We explored uh, Brinstar and uh, we made our way back. We made our way to Norfair for the first time. Norfair is the hot area. Very hot. Lots of, uh, lots of magma uh, here. We're gonna uh, skip that for now. Uh, we'll come back to it. But uh, yeah, lots of magma here. Very hot. Um, and as soon as we come into Norfair, we're actually gonna leave. We're actually gonna leave Norfair because it's uh, it's not somewhere I want to be right now. And we're actually in Cry Criteria, which um, we've never actually been to. But this is where you land your ship. This is where you land originally. Um, your ship is here on the surface of the planet. And there are a couple of things that we need to do here. Uh, we'll take care of those now. The first thing is head underwater here. Shoot that fish and pick up this missile tank. And it's funny because you're underwater and at the top right, the word Norfair uh, for the elevator. You can only see the air part. So it looks like uh, the first time I played it, I thought it was running out of air. I don't just... It's like, I didn't know there was air, an air gauge. Samus can't drown, but no, she can't. But of course, gravity pulls you down when you're underwater and uh, it's a lot harder to maneuver. This is the first section of the game that is not in the original in any way. This is the uh, Chozo Ruins. And um, if you didn't know, this was not in the original game at all. This is one of those cool things that I was telling you about um, that this game adds. It adds a little bit to the story. So here we have some weird looking blocks. And if you look at the, M the symbol on the blocks, it looks a lot like the beam upgrades that we've been getting. If you haven't noticed, keep an eye out on that. So we're gonna shoot this. It looks like a regular Chozo statue where we've been getting our upgrades, but this is an unknown item. We don't know what this means. It does go under our beam subsection, but analysis is inconclusive. Item incompatible with current suit. Um, but now those, those blocks are lighting up, so what happens if we shoot them? They disappear. Very interesting. So even though we cannot equip whatever item that was, we actually do... Uh, do have the capability of it does something to our suit we don't know what but it's something so I think it's very very interesting and we're gonna hop up here with a bomb jump and make our way up here now I told you guys in the last episode that while jumping is not as cool as in Super Metroid because it doesn't really give you access to anything super super early but uh, if you want to practice your wall jump this is the perfect place to do it so you can actually come all the way over here. The first time I played it, I thought I was being very clever and sequence breaking. So good. Oh, look at me, sequence breaking like a pro. Except uh, there's really nothing here. So yeah, that kind of sucks. Make your way back because like I said, there's really nothing you can do. There are some power-ups that way, but you actually can't get them. So we're just gonna make our way back over this direction, hop on these platforms and go into the mouth of the Chozo. And fall into this pit. The first time I played this, uh, I got stuck here because I didn't know where I was supposed to go at all. So, but here we get one of the new items that aren't in the other games, Power Grip. This goes under miscellaneous and it lets you grab ledges like so. And from here you can shoot Diagonally, you can shoot like this. You can drop down. Uh, you can jump, and you can just uh, crawl up as well. So it's pretty cool, actually. Pretty cool indeed. Getting the uh, the wall grip thing makes this platform rise up, and as per usual in Metro games, as soon as you get uh, an item. The game lets you experiment with it, so the way to get out is 
by using the wall grip. Like so. But, oh no, we can't get past this. How are we supposed to crawl up there? Well, you go straight into more fall mode. Which is kind of cool. And like I said, criteria is where you land your ship. So here we go. Samus' ship. We're going to go in here. We're going to save our game. Weapons and energy fully restored. Would you like to save? Yes. Thank you very much. And we'll make our way back over here. And as you can see, um, we've pretty much, pretty much done a complete circle. By the way, I like that they use this music. A little throwback to the to the haunted ship, but uh, I was very glad to hear this music. They it's such a good game. This is such a good game. It really is. They they add just enough of the old games to make you feel reminiscent, uh, while while having its own unique flair. You know, it's got its own charm. It doesn't rely too heavily on on Super Metroid for its charm, but. Um, before we move on, we're actually going to go this way. I guess we can ignore those guys. What we really want is up here. Okay. Missile tank acquired. The wall grip, well, I don't know, whatever it's called, the ledge grip. It's actually another one of those items that you you simply have to get in order to beat the game. There's just no way around it. I don't mind that. I know a lot of people like to do minimalist runs, which I think is really cool. Um, and I guess it would be cool to be able to beat the game without picking up any power-ups. That would make it interesting. But uh, you can't. So... In order to get this missile upgrade, you could do uh, bomb jumps like so, and then time it perfectly. Or you can just wait till you get the, the ledge grip and do it that way. It's up to you. I find it easier to just wait. That's just me, though. And we can actually go this way. Whereas before we couldn't, because... This ledge is way too high for you to, to jump. And you can't wall jump it. I've tried it. I wasted many minutes trying to wall jump that the first time I played the game. Uh, and you can't. So you might as well just get the the grip. We'll be coming in back in this room and exploring it further at a later time. There's a lot, a lot of secrets. <coughs> Excuse me, a lot of secrets there. But if you remember way back... Uh, the Chozo statue told us to come down here, and um, we're actually about to go and see what the Chozo statue had in store for us. Uh, okay, just drop down, thank you. Get rid of this guy, get rid of these guys. Like so, okay. By the way, green door, so you can't go back that way. And like I said, ice beam. Look at the look at the icon for the beam. So, like I was telling you earlier, this goes under the beam category, like that unknown item we picked up earlier. So the ice beam, it's automatically equipped. I don't think you can unequip items um, like you could in Super Metroid. Like beams, you can't unequip the ice beam. But regardless, we can't go back that way. So let's head over here. And like I said earlier, as soon as the game gives you a new weapon or something, it lets you try it out. And that's how basically the ice beam works. We might as well do a quick save while we're here. Save complete. Thank you very much. got to freeze these guys, you jump on them, and then just fall jump the rest of the way. And another Chozo statue. 
now that we got the Ice Beam, it's telling us to go back up to Brinstar. And then to create a whole new area that we haven't explored at all. And there's a strange icon down there. Uh, so I guess it's time to go exploring that area. Actually, before we do that, there's going to be a whole lot of other stuff we're going to do. Because if we're going to go to a brand new zone, we need to be powerful. I find this part to be easiest if you just wall jump up. And there is an item right there. Freeze this guy, use him as a platform. Pick up the missile tank. Freeze that guy. Hop over him and move on. And here's where we're gonna do some some serious sequence breaking. This is probably the first instance in the game where, where there's some serious sequence breaking to be done. So you freeze him. Shoot a missile there, jump on him. Oops, hurry up. Okay. Now we're, we've ex discovered a whole new area here. The trick here is to fall down this crumbling block area and drop bombs on your way down, like so. If you did it right, you break this block. Go ahead and do this. Wall well, jump your way up here and drop. And this is going to skip you a lot. A whole lot. We're going to be coming back, don't worry. We're not skipping it forever. Um, we're skipping it for now. Because by doing this, we actually get to um, a lot of items that we weren't going to be able to get to up until a lot further in the game. Um, it's possible, but foolish, to proceed a lot further this way. Uh, I don't recommend that you do so. You can and will regret it. But, um, what we do want is to come back up this way. Actually, I think that's a missile block. Yep. Wait for that guy to go. Bomb this. Go ahead and break that. I don't think we can go this way either. No, we can't. So instead, we're going to come up here. Another Chozo statue. And you might be wondering, wait, can you have two Chozo statues active at the same time? Why, yes. Yes, you can. This one's going to also take us back up to Brinstar. But instead of going down to Kraid, this one tells us to go up there. So we're actually going to listen to this one first. We're actually going to do what this one is asking before we uh, we head to Kraid. Kraid. All right. Um, we don't want to go... This is... I'll explain that later. So for now, just ignore. Go away. Okay. Okay, we get this missile here, missile tank. Yes, very nice, very nice. We go this way. And actually, now we're stuck. Um, because if we go back up here, we actually can't get out. We can't get out. There's no way out. And we can't jump high enough to get up there. So we're stuck. So we're going to go in here instead. There are some... I don't know if they're too powerful, but... I wouldn't say they're too powerful for us to handle right now. But, uh... Normally, you, you wouldn't want to come here yet. But, since we're stuck, we have no other option. We actually have to. And we're going to get the high jump boots. High jump boots. They go under miscellaneous, they increase your maximum jump height, and they also let you do this, which we can do before. So that's kind of cool. Um, you can go this way, and you're supposed to eventually, but for right now we're not going to do that. Actually, I do want to refill my missiles. Weapons and energy full restored. Great. All right then. Die, die, die. No need to kill everyone. Let's just move on. Now we can actually come this way. You see how high we can jump now. 
we want to do this, and now we can talk about this thing. This is a, a launcher of some kind. You, la you put a bomb in it, it activates it, and this is actually how you get out. Um, we've pretty much explored all we can right now of, of Norfair, so we're actually going to leave. We're actually going to leave this place. We've, before we completely leave, though, we're going to pick something up here. Missile tank. And back up to, uh, back up to Brinstar. And this is the second time we're going to do some serious, serious sequence breaking here. We're going to pick up a suit power-up. That's all I'm going to say about it. We're going to pick up a really awesome thing that we're not necessary at all but it's gonna make the next area a ton easier oh so much easier oh okay let's not get hit with simple jumps here so we're gonna go all the way up this shaft this is the shaft we wanna go all the way up now that we have the high jump we can actually it's actually a lot easier to get to navigate this area if you don't get hit. We actually we can actually do some other stuff up here while we're at it. We can get this missile tank, but we are gonna go back right now. We're gonna go back and oh well. I try to avoid getting hit, but sometimes you just can't. We've been here before, if you recall. But this time, our way is blocked by this thing. Um, so we have to go this way instead. Now we go to this area. Oh! I think I messed up, so we're gonna have to redo this. Because we need that guy. We need him alive. Yeah, we need him alive. Let me go back. I didn't mean to shoot him. Come on down and just... Just get me already. Okay, whatever. They're gone. Nope, now I have to kill them. See, all it takes is four for, for you to start losing health. Health. Which is really annoying. But what we want to do with this waiver is freeze them there. Jump on them, use them as a platform. Oh, fool! Again. Third attempt. Goodness. Oh. There. So this time, there we go. There we go. That's how you do it. Easy. Um, we're being blocked again by these things. But as you can see, those little parasite creatures, they like to eat whatever this is. So we're just going to head and let them eat it. And then they're going to latch onto us. And then, yeah, now we have to kill them, unfortunately. Make our way up here. Careful not to fall into the acid. And then watch as they eat that other 
thing. I don't know what those are, but uh, they're blocking our progress, so. There we go. And what we're gonna get here is. The Varia Suit. The Varia Suit decreases damage taken from enemies and prevents damage from acid and heat. And it gives Samus that awesome orange tint to her suit that we all know and love. And that's basically what we came for. The Varia Suit decreases damage and it allows us to, uh, to go into the acid. Like, so... We bomb this middle section. Shoot the blocks. Come over here. Get an energy tank. Then we slowly... Because acid has the same physical properties as water, apparently. In that it slows your, your movement. <laughs> but anyway... With that done, we are actually ready. Actually, let's go this way. This is the way we're supposed to... Well, not supposed to, but this is where we're going to go. Because I said so. Alright. I want to destroy this one. Crawl up here. Let these guys crawl on me and release the little guys go on go on there we go will you go on I think I need more of them to eat this thing maybe I need this guy too will you attach yourself okay now now will you eat it there we go. So you, you basically have to tease them into eating the the obstacle. And uh, you can come over here. It's actually not necessary to come this way. But uh, it does have a Chozo statue. Which will also guide us to a new place. Back down to Norfair, huh? into an area we haven't been. But we're actually not going to do that right now. We actually have Kraid to take care of first. And like I said, it would be foolish to head into that direction at this point in time. So instead, we're going to uh, we're going to do what we're supposed to do. Go to Kraid, Kraid, which is what you were supposed to do to begin with. Uh, which way do we go? This way. This way, I say. All right, so we backtracked a lot, and now we have to go all the way back this way. Not a problem, though. We're a lot more powerful now than we were the first time we visited this area. And now it doesn't matter if you fall on the acid if you if you miss time your jumps. Like I do sometimes. Um uh, yes, this way. And actually there's a couple more things we can do. First of all, is this not the place? It might not be the place. We'll take care of that later then. We can come up here, freeze this guy, bomb. Now that we have the grip, we couldn't do this before, but now that we have the grip, we can. So we come down here, and uh, we kill these guys, because they're in our way. Come down here again. There we go. Missile expansion. And... We can actually take a look at that. We don't know what that is. Um, we can't get to it. We can't bomb those blocks. Those are blocks we don't know. And that's a thing we don't know. We want that. 
Believe me, we want it, but we can't get to it just yet. But we will. Don't you worry. I hope. It's actually one of the tougher items in the game, in my opinion, to get. It requires a technique that is very difficult to perform. A little secret area here we're gonna bomb. There's that weird block again. But we're not interested in that right now. What we're interested in is this missile tank upgrade. And now back down we go. A little, sh little shortcut. As you can see, it's a little shortcut to get down to that long shaft. But, uh, whatever. Anyway, let's move on. Here we have this section that we saw early, early in the game. We're gonna bomb it, like so. We could have actually accessed this the instant we got uh, more fall bombs. But uh, I don't think it would have been in our best interest to do so. I thought there were more enemies here. Um, but there aren't. So anyway, we've reached this area with this weird looking creature rock. Um, and this is the elevator down to Kraid. So in the next exciting episode of Metroid Zero Mission, we are going down to Kraid. We're going to explore Kraid. It's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope you'll join me then for another episode of Metroid Zero Mission. See you guys then.